I can talk a bit about Argo workflows and how they can work with Dagger. Um, so there's going to be uh, a guide on this dropping on the Dagger docs soon. Um, but for right now, I'll just kind of go through what this looks like. So if you're not familiar with Argo workflows, um, it's different than Argo CD. It's it's still under the Argo umbrella, uh, but it's basically a workflow engine to work with Argo. Um, so I'll talk about kind of how that plays with the other Argo things uh, towards the end. But the most important thing is, um, you know, you can use Argo workflows kind of like you use, you know, GitHub Actions or Circle CI um, with like a billion caveats. Um, so yeah, under use cases, they have CI, CD and uh, automation, tons of other things that you can do with it other than CI, CD. Um, so it basically, it's something you install into your Kubernetes cluster. Um, I'm not going to go into the details of um, how I've set up Kubernetes in this case, because we also have a guide dropping or dropped or imminently dropping um, on setting up your Kubernetes to, to play nice with Dagger. Um, but the main thing is if I look at uh, pods, I think. Um, anyway, I, I haven't touched this in, <laughs> in a minute. so. Um, I've got Argo installed on my kube cluster. Um, all right, let's say get pods. Uh, so I've got, let's see, these completed jobs that I ran before this. Um, I've got Argo running here, and this workflow controller is part of that as well. Um, and so if I look at this, this is the an Argo workflow. Um, so again, I mentioned Argo workflows is a workflow engine, workflow, workflow, workflow. Um, this is the workflow itself that actually tells Argo what I want to run, how I want to run it, um, those kinds of things. And so it's um, kind of familiar Kubernetes YAML uh, where we define a whole bunch of things here. Uh, and I'll kind of look at real quick what the important things are. So first of all, my Dagger pipeline skipping ahead is a Go pipeline. So it's using the Dagger Go SDK. Uh, and so to kind of optimize my pipeline here, I know that my pipeline is going to need some Go mods. So I'm actually, I set up a persist vo persistent volume claim, uh, which is uh, basically a volume that each of my pods can use uh, for my Go mod cache. So this is separate from Dagger, but this lets Dagger kind of get to the daggering even faster. Um, and this is part of the guide as well. but. The important thing here is um, this dagger connection. So I've mounted, uh, I have a daemon set, which is running my, basically running my dagger engine on each node in my Kubernetes cluster. And so with that, I'm exposing this socket from that pod, the engine pod, and mounting it into all these little Argo pods when they run workflows. And so they don't have to connect necessarily connect to like a remote engine over HTTP or anything. They have this socket mounted. Uh, and so they can just pretend like it's it's their own engine. Uh, and so with this mount, then I've got this little workflow here. And it basically it clones this greetings API repo that I have in GitHub. And then uh, once that's cloned, we get the dagger CLI, which um it's real quick, this artifacts thing uh, is like a Argo workflows way of saying like, before I set up my workflow, these are kind of some artifacts that my workflow might need. So that includes like checking out repos or pre-installing CLIs, that kind of thing. So in this case, yeah, I've checked out my repo. I've got the Dagger CLI from this specific release on uh, the Dagger GitHub. And now in my container, I want to use the, the Golang bookworm image as my runtime for this uh, workflow. And then I run dagger run, go run CI, and so on. Um, and I've set this environment variable so that dagger knows where my engine is. And again, those mounts that I defined up above, I want to say put those into my container. So that's an Argo workflow. If you don't uh, use a lot of Kubernetes, that probably was all meaningless, and I'm sorry, We this is YAML. Um, so now 
what I can do is run that workflow with Argo. So if I say uh, Argo submit, um, and so this hopefully everyone can see that. Let me just move it up a bit too, because sometimes the bottom of the screen cuts off. So if I say Argo submit, um, and then I'm submitting to the namespace Argo, which is where my Argo workflows installation is. Uh, and dash dash watch will watch the progress of this workflow submission. So it's not actually watching like the output of the pod, but it's watching like the status of the pod. So we'll see that in a second. And then the workflow YAML. So when I run that, uh, so again, we're watching kind of the progress of this thing being scheduled. Um, and while that's running too, we can actually go back and look at my other tab, which is, this is like the Argo workflows UI here. So I can see this little spinny one here, the zone we just submitted. Um, and then zooming into a reasonable size, um, these two inputs to the job are those two artifacts that we looked at in that workflow. So there's my, my Git checkout and the CLI. And then here, over here, let's zoom back out again. Um, this is our actual container that ran a thing and we can pop open the logs and we've got this dagger run that checked out my, or that ran my greetings API CI pipeline. Um, and we can see a bunch of things cached because again, I did a test before this. So this uh, cache persisted between my runs within Kubernetes and it was successful. And then if I wanted to look at that on the other side, I could look at this pod and say, TTL logs, uh, and set the namespace, there we go. And we can see the same thing that we we're seeing in that little uh, window. Um, so yeah, once again, there's gonna be a cool guide on this to be able to run this on your own end. Um, the other thing I promised I'd mention is that this is just using Argo workflows. If you were to set this up as like your CI CD system, you'd probably use this in conjunction with Argo CD and Argo events, which are, you're gonna be using basically three distinct installations, but those three things work together to create kind of the proper CI CD platform where you're responding to Git events, you're doing these workflows and you're maybe deploying things out into clusters. And so those three products kind of work in conjunction. Um, and there's tons of resources out in the internet on that um, that I haven't written and I marginally understand. So uh, go check that out too if, you, if you're using Argo. Um, workflows is pretty cool to run Dagger. That's it. So I can answer some questions or we can move right on.